Hi, this is Tim. And today we're going to be working on our control logic system again that we've used in several different videos recently. One, we talked about how to discover what IP addresses are on a network. And we also showed how you can switch between multiple networks with our PLC tool SIM IPE. Today, we're going to be adding this compact logic to the same network, but I want to make sure that the IP address that I'm planning on using isn't actually used. So first, we need to select our network. So if we go to prepare address and then select network, all right, now we're on network one, which is 192.168.11, but we want to be on 192.168.1. And in my previous video, I showed how we can configure the different networks for different ones. So that's the one we want. And now we're gonna go down to a new target IP address. And it's gonna be 192.168.1.18. Now that is what we want to, to, to set this compact logic set. But before I do, I wanna make sure that that isn't used on this network. So in our previous video, we did show how we can plug into an unused port on the ethernet switch and then we can go to read unknown. And it's gonna start reading off the IP addresses on the network. All right, and so far it has found 30 IP addresses and this first one's 111. Once, and there's 71, 78, 76, 41, 40, 56, 42, 54, 12, 13, 55, 77, 34, 8, 20, 2, Four, six, ten, five, nine, seven, three, one, sixty, fifteen, fourteen, and finally sixty one. So I feel fairly confident that this IP address isn't used, but I wanted to do one last check. And so what we can do here is if we go out of this and we go to ping device. Since I already had that target IP address, I'm getting ready to assign this to at 192.168.1.18. It's gonna to try to ping it and see if it's out there. And just to show you what a successful one would look like, let's go and change our target IP address. So we're gonna prepare address and we're going to go to new target IP address. And I believe there was something on 10. So now we'll go back, ping device, and there. So these are successful attempts. So we know something is on 10. All right, now we'll switch back to the prepare address. And now on our list, we have the 10 that we were just using for the example. And there's the 18 that we actually want to assign to this compact logic. Now I feel confident that that 18 isn't used. So what I'm gonna do is a cancel out of this and I'm gonna go to assign IP address. And then I'm gonna plug it into my compact logics. Now while we can read IP addresses easily, plug it into an ethernet switch, when you go to assign an IP address, plug directly into the device. So we're going to use boot P DHCP and we're gonna wait on a request and we may have had this powered up too long. We'll see if it does. Many devices will quit making boot P requests after a certain amount of time. And okay, no, it, it did accept it. So if we want to set this to static, we're gonna click the okay button. So it successfully set it to static. That means this compact logic here is no longer looking for boot P. Next time you power it up, it will have the IP address that you see here, 192.168.118. Now here's a neat feature for people who are commissioning systems is right now it says change address plus minus. And what you can do with that is you can use the up and down arrows to change to the next IP address. So many times when you're commissioning a system, the IP addresses are incremental. So this was 18, your next one will be 19. So you can simply unplug from this device, plug into your next device, and then on here, you'd be at 19, press OK. And right now it's gonna be checking the ethernet cable because I don't have another device to assign. So you could quickly plug into one, sign IP address, set it to static, unplug from that one, hit the plus sign, plug it in the next one, and you could go down the line and very quickly assign several hundred IP addresses.
Hope this video has been helpful. That's a really quick way to one, check and make sure that the IP address isn't used and to assign the IP address, especially to a compact logics or something that doesn't have an LCD screen or any way to configure its IP address straight from the screen. I'll put a link to the PLC tools, SIM, IPE in the description. And also I'll put a link to a bunch of other application examples that show the um, SIM IPE in action. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.